going to talk about treating depression in bipolar disorder. I'm Robert McMullen. I'm a psychiatrist in New York, practicing 36 years. I went to Georgetown Medical School and I went to residency at Columbia Presbyterian. And uh, over those years, I concentrated on treating people with medication for various psychiatric illnesses from panic attacks to depression to manic depression to schizophrenia, uh, the whole gamut. And five and a half years ago, we added a new modality in the office, and that's TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation. And it, it uh, means exactly what it says. And it pulses, goes on and off, and the magnetic field easily goes through the skull and, uh, and then that changes the electrical activity underneath the coil. And we can either excite or we can inhibit under the area and, and in different places. The, uh, the response rate has been extremely high in depression where we have in, in regular unipolar depression where people have been treatment resistant and have not done well on medicine for many years, we have perhaps 50% of people come all the way to normal. And then they stay there a long time, and when they relapse, they don't need another 30 treatments, just five or six. Now, the hardest thing to treat is often bipolar depression. And we are often really stuck with that, because if somebody's uh, bipolar, they can be bipolar 1 where they have manias, or they can be mild bipolars, bipolar 2 where they just have mild eyes. But in either case, sometimes it's uh, almost impossible to use a standard antidepressant because it just fires things up. It's stimulating them too much. It's like putting gas on a fire. And you may uh, do better for a month when you add in Prozac or Zoloft or, or some antidepressant. But then uh, a couple of months later, they're back down in the depression, and they may be having more depression in the next year than they would have if they'd taken nothing. So the antidepressants can really be a negative with them. And then if the other medications we use for bipolar depression, like uh, Lamictal and Depakote and Lithium and Seroquel, and there's many medicines, uh, if they're not working to to bring the person out, what is the next step? And we found that with, with TMS we can successfully treat them and not overstimulate them. Now, with one caveat, if we treat them the standard way, the standard treatment for depression is an excitatory treatment right here on the forehead, so the left dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex. But that treatment, which has been done for 22 years now, is often too stimulating in bipolar people. It's just like giving them an antidepressant. It fires them up, they can start cycling, and uh, be worse than ever. When we've done it and they have cycled, if we stop it right away and shift to the other side, usually we're okay. But generally, we don't even try that. We, we do a right-sided inhibitory treatment, a quiet treatment on the right dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex. And this was not researched as much and not done as much over the last 20 years because treatments started out here. And so people just kept doing the same type of treatment with variations, higher intensity, more pulses, things like that. But it turns out that in almost anybody with depression, a right-sided inhibitory treatment will work as well as the standard left-sided excited toward you. And it does not seem to uh, cycle people who are bipolar. There may be a rare patient, but uh, we haven't seen them yet. And uh, with this treatment, uh, you bring people out of the depression in the usual amount of time, which is about 30 treatments, but it can be anywhere from 15 to 50. And uh, frequently you can bring them all the way to normal. And then 
Hopefully they will stay on some medication like lithium and lamictal and Depakote and not necessarily in very high doses. You know, with Depakote and lithium, we like to keep the dose as low as possible because of side effects and so on. But thereafter, the hope is, is that the medication will keep the person euthymic for a long period of time. And then when they relapse, they can come in and have a... a uh, a few treatments and they're generally back up to where they were. You know, I'll give one example. I have a 29 year old lady who I've treated since she was about 15 and she had chronic depression and a lot of anxiety back then and then all her life she had fluctuating uh, depression and on medication she'd be better but she was never quite up to normal. And even when she was in a period of life where everything was fine, she was living overseas, she spoke the language fluently, what she had learned, she had a circle of friends, a nice job, a nice boyfriend, everything was really pleasant and for all practical purposes perfect, she still felt depressed in the background. When she eventually moved back here, after two or three years, she happened to go into the world's biggest depression, or at least the most severe depression she had ever had, and was really thinking about suicide and, and it was just the fact that it would hurt her family so much that she didn't do it. So I said, come on down tonight and we'll start. And we started to do these treatments. Now she was a little bit uh, different because it took a little longer. So after 25 or 30 treatments, she'd be completely normal, but it would only last a couple of days. And then she'd start to go down again, and maybe even get suicidal. So after a while, I was doing uh, treatment twice a week just to keep her head above water, and I was beginning to worry, am I going to have to keep doing this her whole life, you know, giving her two treatments a week? And then there was a treatment she had, and unbeknownst to us, that was the last one. She stayed fine. She did have one relapse six months later and needed one treatment. But that treatment, I believe, was number 51. And I, I knew her mother very well since before she was born. And I talked to her mother on the phone and I said, well, how is she really different since the TMS? How is she different than she was before? And she said, Robert, You've got to be kidding. She was depressed all her life, and now she's normal. And I asked the young lady the same thing, and she said just about the same response. And she stayed uh, completely euthymic for three years and one month. And then she began sinking into depression. Over a week or two, she was going into moderate depression. She came in right away. We did five or six treatments, and... Uh, she was back to you finally. This is frequently how it works, that, uh, that people that have never been up to normal, we can often get them to normal, and they can stay there for a long period of time. Although usually they stay, stay on some medication. It's like you need the medication is maintenance medication to prevent the next depression. So uh, in summary, uh, TMS works for a lot of different uh, neurological and psychiatric disorders and we're finding more and more things that it may work for, but one of the big ones is depression in the context of bipolar disorder, which is a very hard depression to treat often. And this seems to be able to treat it without causing more cycling and also with having a long-term benefit.